I saw this integral on on, on YouTube. Uh, I have a different method, but it looks uh, the, a little shorter and easier. So I wanted to share with you. Now I start with this. I put this equal to from zero to half pi x times cotangent x dx. Okay, then this is equal to from zero to half pi x times the derivative of uh, log sine x. Log sine x is equal to cotangent x dx. Now then uh, it's uh, ready for by parts, right? This is my u, this is my v, u dv is equal to uv, u times v, uh, sine x from uh, zero to a quarter, a uh, half pi, and uh, minus the video. V is a uh, log sine x, geez, log sine x, and uh, u is x, therefore the dx. All right, good. Now let me discuss this, uh, the, f the first part. When a sine th when x is a, a, is a half pi, this is one, log one is zero. So the first part is zero. The second part, uh, sine is zero, zero. Log zero is not defined. But this one is, an, this zero, is, x may not necessarily be equal to zero, but rather it's approach to zero. So I'm using the limit x approach to zero from uh, from right hand side, right? And uh, x log sine x. And uh, this one is equal to, <coughs> well, this is a zero, this is infinity, therefore it's in determinate form. I just create the condition to use L'Hopital's rule. This is a, a log sine x. This is one of x, right? So this one is equal to the limit x approaches to zero from right. This is a negative one of x squared. This is a this is a cotangent. Cotangent is a cosine over sine. So this one is because the limit x goes to zero. Now negative uh, negative x over sine x times x times cosine x. Well, we know this is a one, right? This is famous limit. This is zero. This is a one. Therefore, the result is zero. So that means this one is zero. My integral i is equal to this. Is equal to negative. See, my integral i is equal to negative from zero to half pi natural log sine x. So that is uh, my integral for the given, for, from the given integral. We find this one, we find the answer. Right? Uh, now let me try to do this one, all right? Now, as we know that uh, the the integral log sine dx 
I can bring a new variable, say, say u, uh, u, u is equal to half pi minus x. So my dx is a negative du. Okay. So this interval becomes uh, log sine 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 x is equal to half x minus u. Therefore, this becomes a log of cosine. Right? The x is the negative du. As x equal to zero, u is a half pi. X equal to half pi, u is equal to zero. All right? So that is that is a, that is that is my new in and uh, I switch it negative. Where right? this is over, this is this is uh, okay. So this is a cosine, log cosine x dx. See? This is u, right? All right. Okay, uh, u is an x, is just the dummy variable. Okay, I'm discussing this, this, this integral, right? Let me put a positive. I is positive this one. And, uh, my this is i1 okay because this is i right this is i1 this is i1 so, so my 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 integral is a negative i1 so uh, this is equal to i1 so that means log sine and log cosine the same integral and continue. Therefore, therefore, two i one. This i one, right? This is also i one. Two i one is equal to is equal to natural log sine x plus natural log cosine x dx. Well, according to the property of logarithm, that is equal to that is equal to uh, as a map, right? Natural log sine x plus cosine x becomes plus multiplier. <laughs> this is adding, this is multiplying, right? Okay, this is multiplication, and this one is equal to theta half pi natural log uh, one half sine two x, right? Well, that's good. Yeah, this is good. Uh, this one is equal to this is log half dx plus zero half mm, log two uh, x right dx. Okay, this part is easy. This will be equal to log half times half time. <clears throat> now for this one, well, I'll change the variable again. Uh, this I let
XB well XB half T yeah X B half T then DX is uh, half DT then this becomes a because log sine 2t sine 2t sine 2x is a sine t dx is a dt over 2 when when x is a 0 t is 0 when x is a half pi and t is a pi, right? Yeah. Okay. So this one is equal to uh, this is the first one. Now this this is equal to <laughs> half in the front, right? Integral, and then half out. Log sine t dt from 0 to pi is uh, from 0 to half pi log sine x. Well, these are just dummy variable. dx plus from half pi to pi log sine x dx right I split this one into two then this one equal to uh, log half plus one half this is my I1, right? This is my I1. Now for that one, for this part, I have, uh, have to work separately. For this one, for this part, I let us uh, say what T has been used. Let me use a theta. Okay, I'm uh, I'm discussing this one. Log uh, sine x dx. I'm I'm looking for this one, right? Uh, this one I let uh, I have a new variable x is equal to pi minus theta and the log uh, s sine. X, uh, sine pi minus theta is is same as a same as a sine theta. So dx is a negative d theta. When x is equal to half pi, so this is half pi. Right? When x equal to pi and uh, theta is zero. So this one, I change this one into, you know, switch it. This one, this is a log uh, sine theta, d theta. Well, that's exactly that's exactly my my i one. There's no no difference. Just dummy variable. So this is i one. You know, this is another i one. See. So the, the left hand has two i one. Therefore, two i one is equal to log uh, this one half pi plus i one. So i one is equal to negative natural log half half pi. So that is 
my result for I1. Now we are looking for I, right? We are looking for I. I is equal to I, this is zero. This is I1, right? I is equal to negative I1. Now, I1 is uh, this, right? I1 is becoming log sine half 1. Positive or negative? This is I1, this is I1, so this is positive, right? Ah, so always a little mystery. So I1 is this. I1 is this. My uh, my original given integral is a negative I1. Is negative I1. Okay. I1 is this. My I is negative I1. So it is equal to negative this. Sorry, the mistake. Negative. But log half is equal to negative log 2, right? So the I, finally this is a half pi log 2. That is the very answer to my given to my given integral. Now let me organize again. Let me <laughs> summarize, summarize. This is a given integral, and uh, we we use a bypass. We get this minus this, right? This one is zero. We use Laplace's rule. And uh, this one I separately discuss as I1. This I1. So we find that I1 is this. Therefore, my my given integral is negative. Is a negative I1. So it's negative this one. Log half is negative two. Therefore, the overall is this answer. Now. I have a I have a separate uh, video to discuss this integral, which is uh, I one right? I one is uh, this one. Is this one? Yeah. Log sine x dx from zero to half. I have a, a video discuss this integral using different method. This is. This is uh, one method, right? There, there's another method. Y if you're interested, you you can go see it on the website link is uh, in the below. Okay. Okay. Thank you for your watching.